And Typhoon Haiyan may be the worst natural disaster in Filipino history. The country's president has declared a state of national calamity. CBS News Barnaby Lowe is in the city of Cebu, where help is starting to arrive. Good morning. Behind me is the tarmac for Cebu, the only regional international airport where resources are being flown in from around the world. That Russian aircraft behind me just landed this morning. Millions of people here are without food or shelter, and the devastation left behind by this deadly storm has made it very difficult for aid workers to reach those in need. But a massive international humanitarian response is underway. The USS George Washington aircraft carrier is expected to arrive in the next day or so, and the U.S. State Department will be providing emergency shipments of materials. U.S. troops have already landed in the Philippines, and the acting ambassador has issued an immediate $100,000 for relief efforts. The United Nations has released $25 million from the Emergency Relief Fund. The United Kingdom is deploying a warship and donating roughly $16 million in U.S. dollars worth of assistance. Australia is contributing $9.4 million. And dozens of other countries and organizations are collecting donations and sending aid workers as well. One of the main concerns now is clearing the roads so support can be delivered to those who need it. A tropical storm moving through the region this week has hampered those efforts, but forecasters don't expect it to cause a fraction of the damage done last week. For CBS This Morning, Barnaby Lowe, Cebu, the Philippines. And if you'd like to contribute to the relief effort in the Philippines, go to cbsthismorning.com. There you'll learn how to donate to groups helping the many victims of the disaster.